Hello, welcome to lesson 10 of this Excel called Test Maran. You'll be looking at text functions in Excel and there are quite a number of them and specifically we'll be looking at how we can use the text function to manipulate date and some other stuff. Now taking a look at this uh, data that we have, we have the staff ID, we have the first name and the last name, we have the higher date, we'll be dealing with basically this higher date. And then we have the monthly. Uh, we'll be looking at all these, uh, you know, as far as uh, the test function is concerned. And uh, now, the first person I will want to do is, uh, for example, we have a date like this. Now, this is a short date. You may want to, out of this day, you want to uh, extract a lot of things, extract the long date, the full date, as we have it here, and we want to do other things. Uh, uh like that so what we will do we can make use of our test function to actually extract the full date from this date or any other date that we may uh we may want now how do we do that we can just go on and say equals to text and then we have only two arguments we have the value and the format the text format now we want to extract the full higher date from here now after that we simply put in a comma and it says what is the format in what format do you want now we want to extract the full date starting with the day of the week the day the month and the year from this particular uh higher date because we don't actually know this person was employed uh sixth uh ninth of june 2022 but we don't actually know whether it's a sunday or a monday but with the text function we can extract the full the full date so we say text now in what format do you want we open a double quotation and we say d d d d now the four days making reference to the day of the week whether on a monday or on a tuesday so if i just close like this and i press on enter you see that this day is actually on a thursday so but this is not actually what we want to do so we say equals to text again use the text function this is the date we want to make reference to put in our comma and then the format we open the double quotation and say d d d d making reference to the day of the week space d d making reference to the day whether first second or third and then m m m m making reference to the full month and y y y y making reference to the full year you close this way you close your parentheses and then you press on enter and then we see that this date it has actually given us the full day thursday 9th june 2022 and we can apply down and actually see the full date of all our employees that's one way of uh, making use of the text function to extract the full day from uh, a short date now we can format this as you know you want if you want to have the day in three digits like t H U or it Thursday reduce it. We want to have the month in three digit reduce it. We have it like this, and then we can uh, we can then uh, double click to apply that and all of that. So we can you no know, actually use our test function to do all of the manipulations. You can explore as you want, and then here yeah, let's extract only the month from this date. From this date, we want to extract only the month using the text function. So we say equals to text, and then we will make reference to this date, and then we open the double quotation and say m m m m. Then we close our quotation, we close our parentheses. With this, we are making reference to the full month. And then we press on enter, and then from here we can uh, extract only the month from the higher date. Can extract the year alone using the text function by saying equals to text and then we make reference to this comma then if you want the full year you simply open a double quotation and say why 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 three places we close the quotation we close our parentheses and then we press on enter we have extracted the full year from our date we can extract only the day by saying equals to text then this is our value and then we want only the day we open a double quotation and say dd then we close the quotation we close our parentheses and then we press on enter 
they are actually giving us are uh, only the day and all, all of that so we can use the test function to extract you know any kind of you no know, use it on your uh, date so that you could be able to extract whatever information you need from any format as far as date is concerned now here the fix function can be used to actually look at this um look at this monthly salary you see that there are some employee with uh, three like this three decimal places and so on and so forth like this also we have three decimal places here so we may, we may use the fix function to actually fix that oh in all our currencies we want two decimal places or three or four decimal places so we can apply that to equals to my saying fix paste function we have the number this is the number that we want to fix now how many decimal places do we want say decimal we want two or three then we can have two and then we can press on enter and then it will convert all our figures to two decimal places but you may want to take note for example if you look at this that's actually approximated this is 0.865 and this is 0.87 that's actually approximated it the same with this that's what the, the fixed function does and then it has actually approximated it to be this but if you don't want approximation like for example if you are calculating result and all of that and you don't want exact to approximate you can use the run down function i just shorten it to r down it is called the run down function i say equals to run down and then it says the number this is the number then how many digits do you want we want two and then we don't want approximation so we just click on enter and then you see we can apply down and then you see the difference here there is no approximation 86 here you have 87 this is approximation and then the refigure this is the refigure here and then the other one here you can see 0 0.258 here you have 0 0.26 here you have 0 0.25 so the rundown will not approximate what we specifically give you uh what you actually need that's that about the text function so apply it to your work and then get your work done faster as much as possible now we can do some a little exercise by saying oh let's extract the full date from this date then we extract the number of years the month and the day that this employee have spent with this organization using our text function from what we have just learned by saying equals to text we can do that by saying equals to text and then we want to say this is our value and then comma the format that we want we Give it a space and open the double position and say d d d d space d d space m m m m space and then we say y y y and then that will give us the full date from this short date so we can apply this down and then we have everything all our employees we have their full date now we can extract the number of years they have spent from their higher date can extract the number of years they've spent, the number of months they've spent, and the number of days they've spent with us as an organization by saying equals to dated if you can use the dated uh dated if function and then we want to reference this day this is the and then by saying we want to actually calculate using from this higher date to today how many years has this employee spent so we include the today's function there and then we close parenthesis saying comma and then we open the double quotation we open the double quotation and say oh we want the number of years we say y and then we close the quotation we close our parenthesis and then we press and enter and then we see that from 20, 2010 to 2025 that we have to today it's actually this employee jessica has actually spent 15 years with this organization and so on and so forth we can extract the month i will i can just copy this or drag it as the case may be and put it there and just edit and put it there and just edit by saying oh i have the full year i want it a month i will only change this one to m then i press my enter 
I will only change this one to D and then I will simply uh, press on enter and then you see so I can I like this way and then I can apply down and then you see that we've been able to extract the number of years the number of months and the number of days each of these employees have actually spent with these uh, organizations very uh, very simple quickly we can extract who is the oldest in this organization as far as uh, let's use the day we can just highlight it top to bottom go to conditional formatting highlight sales rules okay want to say greater than equals to want to say top 10 top 10 and then we can just reduce that top 10 to 1 and then we highlight it in let's say green then we click on ok so we see that this person is actually the oldest uh, this employee Brenda is actually the oldest has actually spent 17 years 213 months and when you compare that to date that's actually 6507 days that he or she has actually spent with this organization quickly with all of these functions combined together we can quickly bring out insert uh, insert uh, and look uh, extract the needed information from your data set we can extract who is the youngest who actually joined this organization uh, uh, last top 10 you say bottom 10 we want to reduce this one to one and then we click on ok and then we see this is actually the youngest employee in the organization he has only spent two years 24 months and 733 and 33 days thank you so much this is all i want to cover in this lesson i'll see you in the next lesson thank you